Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here in the southwest near Exeter where I'm joined by Neil Cloak and his brand new EC350 Volvo which has actually been fitted with Leica Geosystems machine control. Yeah, first Volvo, pleased with it, no faults. Neil has had this machine only for a few weeks now. But I wanted to talk to you about your journey, Neil, because you're an operator that's been working in the industry for some time now and then machine control came along and it was a bit of a surprise for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of it in the beginning. It was obviously, we were used to digging in a certain way, then this new world come in, and yeah, and it took a bit of getting used to. Like it now, wouldn't be without it, love it. And I think, you know, we've all seen the transition, the batters, the lasers and everything like that. And you've done a lot of road jobs as well, haven't you? And, and I think yep. now we're, we're literally in a field where you're going to be putting a road in on your own using uh, the machine control, aren't you? We'll take it from green field, strip the soil, whip it all the drainage in through that control. It'll all be operated from this cab. Won't need engineers. It'll all be done from here So whip it all the storm in, all the foul, and make all the roads, you can make the full road up with that system. Well, and what's interesting for me, folks, is we're down here with One Point Survey, who's the Leica Geosystems dealer in here, and you've actually had a lot of support from their team, haven't you? And, and, and a guy called Rob that's actually helped you with some of the technicals. That's really important, isn't it, that you get the right training and support when you're coming to using this kind of solution? Yeah, for sure, Rob's been, yeah, good as gold, because when I first met Rob, I'd already had this system in the old digger yeah and when we first got it I don't think the training was there to be honest we got like 10 minutes there you go get on my job it's like you know I've never done that used that before and all of a sudden what our old system's gone and you just left to get on with it really give Rob a ring any sort anything out with you which is what you need really and the training I think there should be a little bit more training from from scratch really if I got to be honest yeah, yeah, yeah rather absolutely. than being yeah there you go there's a brand new system get on with it and yeah it's a bit more a bit more to that to and I think you know the other thing that you were talking to me from and this is really important folks you know we're in remote locations across the southwest you've got projects all over the place but Rob also from one point has been able to sort of dial in to the tablet be on the phone with you and talking you through different things as well isn't it that's like as if the engineer was stood where I am right now isn't yeah it? yeah we got Rob and um Kemp's who we use as well, yep. uh, Chris from Kemp's, between the pair of them, they're brilliant. You just ring them up and they just tap into it and sort any problems out their end, which is great. So there ain't no waiting around for anyone, they just tap into the system and they sort any problems out you've got. Great. Perfect. And both those individuals actually are using the Connex system to send models to and from uh, the machine, so extracting as-built data from the machine as well. And so. That allows them to really update things on the fly if things have changed and therefore give the model straight up to you. And so, you know, that allows you to actually get on with doing what you do best, doesn't it? And doing the job. Yeah, because at the end of the day, this sort of machine has got to be making money. So yep. unless it's digging, it's not making money. It's got to be all up and running and it's got to be, the backup's got to be there with it as well, which be fair it is. And so we are talking about a brand new machine here. My friends at Volvo would love to know, and SMTGB the dealer would love to know, what do you think about the 350 here and um, you know what's it like to drive? It is a nice digger, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is a nice digger. Can't fold it, it's all there for the drivers, can't fold it really. What's the response like on the joysticks? What's the cab feel like? Yeah, the cab's nice, it's all electric levers nice, they're super sensitive. The cab is everything's to, to hand you haven't really got to move from this position really yeah you can even mute your phone from here <laughs> <laughs> straight from there so it's all set up for you to go and do the job yeah for it? the driver yeah it's all fitted up from a driver so i've answered that um yeah it's all set up for the driver and with that neil we better let him go and do some driving and operating um because this road isn't going to build itself is it they'll go through <laughs> right where we are right now nope and i'm going to get docked for this <laughs> And of course, what we always love to see, operator like Neil, taking his muddy boots off, got his trainers on in there. He's keeping and looking after this machine. Great to meet you, Neil. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Thank you.